All right, hello everyone. It's me, Bunnelby Lane. Uh, you know, uh, the one who made this previous video uh, about translating PC-98 games. Uh, I've recorded this when I was 17 years old, and I've learned a lot. Uh, first of all, I've learned to go through the process of something before recording a video on how to do it. Um, and I watched this whole video, and I pretty much could have done this in like like five minutes so that's what I'm gonna do today well probably not five minutes because I tend to ramble a lot but um you know at the very least it'll be quicker than 24 minutes um, so uh, I dug up the old hard drive that this was on and I managed to get this exact folder Whoa, okay like this exact folder off of the hard drive thank God because uh, I was scared that I lost it but um, as you can see it's the same folder you know you got Angel Halo um, which I put in a folder this time. Um, you got edit disk and all this stuff and then a couple extra folders um, that we won't really be touching here. So um, what you need for this um, is a PC-98 game first of all. And Angel Halo we're using for this because this specific methodology that I'm going to cover in this video is uh, what you would use to edit Angel Halo. It kind of depends. It's a little variable I found out and I'm going to do a little more trial and error to um, figure out like like all the different kinds of uh, like PC-98 translation methods there are because clearly it's it's a pretty um, broad kind of thing but for Angel Halo I believe this 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 process covers a lot of the um, basis for just general PC-98 translation so you need your game which I'm using Angel Halo you need edit disk which is a program that I mean it's gonna be in this folder I'm just gonna upload it. I have it syncing on Google Drive that's what the little check marks are so I'm gonna just have a link to the Google Drive folder and uh, you know you can go crazy with that but um, edit disk uh, something that you need as well which is a program this is one version 1.69 uh, I don't think they've updated it since then because this is from 2010 so it was already nine years old when I made this one now it's 13 years old um, so I can't imagine they've updated it in, in the four years since uh, it was nine years old and since it was 13 years old but you have edit disk you have the uh, N NEC PC9801 folder from the NK Emulite Emulite emulator package, um, which has a bunch of other stuff that you're not going to use. All we need is this folder out of here, and uh, that's because we're going to visit the N MP2 FM Gen subfolder. And we're going to use the NP2 NT EXE out of that folder, and so I've made a shortcut for that, of course, but. Um, that's what this is, and I moved it out of the the uh, NK Emulite folder, I guess for convenience sake, even though I could have just made a shortcut, which I did today. Um, for some reason, I never had a shortcut of that. But um, this, I don't know why I downloaded this, and I don't, we don't need it. Um, <laughs> and then we have WXM Edit, which is a hex editor that we're going to use to edit the actual game data files. So first, we're going to set up the emulator so we can play our game and look at the dialogue and look at the lines and all that you know this is just for play testing purposes so uh, how we do this is you want to go to hard disk right here and you go to IDE number zero and uh, of course I'm gonna remove this because it shouldn't be anything in there um, I'm gonna open and it's already in the folder but you know you want to navigate to the folder where your uh, game is located and click angelhalo.hdi and then you want to reset the machine and wait a second, it's gonna prompt you, uh, or it prompted me, it didn't do this in the uh, video, the, the previous video, but in this one it, it prompts you to like, what disk you wanna open. It really, it should just be this one disk, so you're gonna wanna say yes, um, or just press enter. And then, so now it's gonna open that, and then there we go, so we got software create active, you know, we got the opening logos, we got this opening Bible verse, which I don't know why that's there. And we got Angel Halo, oh, you can't hear it. Na -na -na. Let me turn it down before I put the thing on here. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, this is uh, Angel Halo's working fine. Um, and while we're in here, we can pick a line to translate. I'm gonna click on this, it's just like, press the mouse or, or a key and then when I press it it's okay it says that I chose keyboard but I guess it's not um, um, you know I didn't want to give me the chance to read that so we have all this stuff we have all these little blurs about what each thing does um, 
I think for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna, we're gonna download, uh, we're gonna translate Angel Halo main menu, and we're gonna translate this little blurb that says that this button ends the game. So we have Angel Halo main menu, game, uh, you know, I don't remember how to read these two kanji. I know I said my, my Japanese is better. Uh, reading, eh, but, um, anyway. So, uh, yes, and then we, uh, you know, while, while we're at it, we can also do the, is it okay, you want to end the game, yes or no. So, um, that's what we're going to be translating. So, in order to open the data file to get to editing, you're going to want to first open edit disk. And this is going to take you to, uh, I don't know what folder it usually takes you to, but you're going to want to navigate to where the game is located. Oh my god, no, 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 you're not going to want to do that. So first thing you want to do is copy the game. Always copy the original file before messing with it. I almost broke that rule, but as you can see, this was modified in 2002 because I've been diligent about copying it every time I edit it. Even back when I was 16, 17 years old. Um, recording this video. I was 17 recording this, but you can see I started doing this when I was 16. Um, so we open the Angel Halo copy, and for this specific file and for any HDI files, you're going to want to use the Annex 86 HDD pro uh, profile. And there's a lot of other ones that most likely apply to other kinds of um, uh, ROMs. Um, I, I might do some trial and error uh, in the future trying to figure out where those apply and if those apply with PC98 games specifically. But um, regardless, um, you know, we got the uh, uh, Annex 86 HDD profile. And so as you can see when we open the game, and this should be mirrored in any PC98 uh, HDI that you open. But um, you have all these system files in the root directory, and then you have the A Halo folder. And so you go into that folder, and you find this pack file. Um, which not all games have pack files, so this specifically applies to games that do have pack files. In other situations, I'm working on figuring that out. Right now, I don't know, but um, I'm working on figuring that out. And I'll probably make another video related to this on how to translate games that don't have this that kind of structure with the pack files. But for this, for any game that does have a pack file, you want to drag it over here. And uh, once you do that, you know you're done with the program. So you're going to want to now open WMX Edit to edit the file. Are you kidding me? Where did it go? Okay, well, uh, one second. <laughs> so the the W the WMX WXM edit uh, exe file mysteriously disappeared out of the directory. But um, here we go. So we have WMX edit open, uh, and it actually saved my settings, which is surprising because I did did beforehand it didn't do that. Um, but here, let me just do this. So. You open WMX XM edit and you should just have a bl blank screen. And so what you want to do is you want to open the game, the game's pack file, excuse me, in WXM edit. And, um, oh my god, wait, okay, so we got to copy it again. <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting to copy it uh, for some reason. Uh, but anyway, you want to open the FD Halo file right here, or no, in this case though, it should have the same name as the file, so this copy can be like a backup copy. We're going to kind of do the opposite of what we did with Angel Halo in that we're going to have the copy be the backup, and I guess it doesn't really matter, but um, I'm going to have the copy be the backup and this be the actual one because it needs to match the file name in the game in order for it to go back in there. So you're going to want to open FD Halo and uh, most likely your thing is going to look like this because it's going to default to the Windows Western European um, viewing file convention for whatever reason. And so you want to go into East Asian and go to Windows Japanese and it'll have all this stuff in Japanese now instead of um, not that because uh, you know now it's 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 showing and of course there is uh quite a bit of jumbled uh nonsense here um but that's not important what's important and then has these wave cues and stuff it's really interesting uh there's a lot to to look at in here but um what we're looking for specifically is the game end and then we got all these scene names but we got the game end 
thing is what we're looking for. So I'm going to control F, which this is a delicate process because um, it's a bit wonky um, because of how the uh, lines and stuff are actually like in the file. It's like a little weird in terms of spacing, but like I'm right, right now I'm just gonna search a game and I'm gonna look for the one that is the game end option, which we're gonna maybe be a little more specific here. Game rule. Okay, well. No, not that one. Aha! This is it. Okay, so this is the one where it says this is. This ends the game. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna. We're gonna clear all this. Okay. Oh, well, we're not gonna do that. Um. Sorry, I'm mistaken. So what we're gonna do is we're going to type over this uh, uh, this text here. So we're gonna say quit quits the game. So now we've replaced that line with quits the game. And so it's a bit strict with the character, like the amount of characters, because uh, at the end of each line is a new line. So, you know, if you, you go over the characters, it's gonna bleed into the next line and you're gonna have a bad time. So, uh, that's why I kind of chose a simple line. So you got the quits game thing. And then what was the other one? There was, um, uh, there was, uh, there's the, are you sure? you want to quit the game so that no <laughs> no 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 uh 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 dang ass you are you sure a lot uh 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 oh my god Oh, is that it? Okay, well, then I might have misremembered the, where the, um, what the line says. Am I crazy? Well, that's okay. We don't need to do all that. Uh, we can just edit that one line. So, we'll save the file now, and as you can see, now it's been modified. So, what you do is you open Edit Disk once again. You open your Angel Halo copy. You open it with the Annex 86 ACD profile, and you go into A Halo where the thing was originally located, and you get your new modified FD Halo file, and you just drag it in. You say yes, and it replaces it with uh, this new file. You know, now this, oh, uh, this is 23 years. First update to the game in 23 years. So, uh, it should just be saved, I believe. Like, uh, I think it, it just auto save automatically modifies it. Uh, yes, so um, now we go into NEC translation project. We open NP2NT and uh, we go into hard disk IDE0, open our newly modified Angel Halo copy, reset the emulator, and it's going to do that prompt again. We're going to say we want to play Angel Halo because we want to play Angel Halo testing the extended memory uh, and all that good stuff oh my god and then moment of truth okay well that's great <laughs> uh one second okay so uh this is a good time to bring up another problem which is that there are a lot of duplicate lines in here so you want to be careful with that especially with the menu items so i believe that this is the actual correct position of what we we're looking for so we're going to do that i mean i guess we've replaced it both times you know no biggie quits the game oh period okay Aha. okay save we're gonna do it once again, you know, just to, to drive it into our heads a little bit. We open edit a disk. We open the disks that we're editing. We uh, open it with Annex 86 HDD profile. We uh, open Angel Halo folder. We get this file and we replace it with our newly edited pack file. We say yes, we close out. It modifies the file automatically. 
we go into np n2 t mp2 and t we open the file into the hard disk ide0 what we remove it from the hard disk we open oh it's probably backing it up isn't it <sighs> google Is it? Okay, hold on. <laughs> that should not happen. I've never had that problem in my whole life. So I'm not sure why it's even doing that. Okay, there we go. Um, and then you reset it. You say, yes, I want to play my newly translated game. You wait for it to test its extended memory and it's done. You go through the opening logos and There it is, as you can see it's at the bottom. Uh, and yeah, so that's basically the process. And so you do this with uh, menu items, with dialogue. Uh, anything that is rendered as text in the game theoretically should be, as you can see, these are images, right? So this is not gonna be in the, in the game, but all of this is rendered as text. So theoretically, you should be able to um, get all of that. Anyway, yeah, that's all for me. Uh, I just realized I should. I gotta now. I gotta edit that out. Good lord. Okay. Well. Anyway. Um. Thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Um. Hopefully this is a whole more helpful than this one. And I'm gonna probably make some follow-up videos in order to, um, you know, elaborate more on certain like uh, uh different situations and different uh kind of nuances to the process of translation. But this is a good starting point. So yeah, thank you everybody and um, hopefully this helped.